I'm getting deja, deja vu from March because I remember you saying that uh, you just weren't that amped up, you know, after a great performance in front of a big crowd in Vegas, and now you get a, a walk-off knockout, and you're just so calm. Why, why do you celebrate later, or are we seeing sort of the celebration right here? Uh, I, I expected that. Um, you know, I think so, I don't want to talk for everyone, but I think some people get really excited because they're kind of surprised if they knock someone out. Um, I plan on knocking people out. Um, it, it's what once ever I think for the last three weeks I knew I was fighting Eddie Wineland on June 6th. So in my mind, I'm knocking Eddie Wineland on June 6th. Now I just did it. it it's not. It doesn't feel. I, I don't know. May, I don't know. I just feel very calm. You know, Justin Gaethje was talking about it too on the Rogan podcast. You know, you get those ups and those downs. I try to stay pretty calm, pretty level. Um, I'm not going to have a big come down after this. I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm going to stay pretty level. And, and like I said, I expected to knock him out in the first round. Did you miss the crowd reaction when you when you dropped him? The, the crowd makes every, you know, it definitely amps everything up. If I could have picked to fight tonight with the crowd, I would have done it 100%. I love the fans. Like, it's a huge reason. Like, I continue to want to get better and want to perform is the, the fans that are diehard fans that love this sport and, and they just want to watch fights. So I want to go out there and perform for those guys. They're all at home celebrating right now, which is awesome. But, you know, if I could hear them celebrating, it would, it would have been cool. You've talked about uh, being really hyper aware in the cage that like you, you can really kind of see and feel everything. Some people have talked about here in the commentary or this and that, you know, being in an empty arena. Did you did you notice anything like while you were fighting tonight? Um, I definitely feel like superhuman. I feel like all my senses are firing on a, on, on another level. But I heard my corner. Um, I heard panic in his corner. Um, I think I, I feel like I kind of heard Rogan do say something. I don't know. But for the most part, I'm listening for for Tim's voice um, and and. and focusing all my energy on Eddie. You said you wanted to do, redo your contract after this fight. What do you want? I said that last fight and I didn't get to. And I just seen that on Twitter that you get a post, that you posted all the, the things. I, I literally not even asking for a lot of money. I'm asking for still less than everything everyone got paid. I want to be paid what I feel like I'm worth and that's not asking that much. Um, and I really do think Sean Shelby and I are going to probably sit down after this fight. I was told I could after I f finish my next fight and I did. Mm -hmm. So um, I have a really good relationship with the UFC, and I want to continue to have a really good relationship with the UFC. Um, I'm a star. I'm a, I'm the man. I, I, I'm what everyone's watching tonight. I feel like I was the main event. Um, that's probably a little bias in my own head, but I, th I think the whole, the whole fight week was all about the Sugar Show, and I, um, you know, I can continue to build this star and get big. And I just, you know, it's a, it, it needs to be, it's a two-way thing. Me and the UFC need to work together and, and grow me. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to be paid what I feel like I deserve. If they do, if if they do pay you what you feel you deserve, and you get the contract that you want, um, what is an appropriate challenge for you? If the money is right, wh who do you think competitively you should be fighting right now? I I definitely want to go look at the you know these fights are playing out. Um, I, I don't know. We're gonna sit down and, and pick a pick another you know or, or look at the rankings, see how they're playing out. It, it it really does depend kind of on the money. If it's like oh okay, well, you guys want me to fight a top ten, let's do it. I'm ready. I feel like I'm the, one of the best in the world right now. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really depends kind of on the money, on the on who's healthy. Um, is Fight Island gonna happen? Can we fight people that aren't in the United States? Um, and when are we gonna be able to? I, I don't know if they have a date yet set for sure that um, we can fight other people outside the United States. So I don't know, a lot of things play into that that answer. Um, but I'm sure we'll, we'll figure out something. I'm healthy. I, I'm ready to go in a couple weeks, a month. So we'll, 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 get, we'll get something figured out soon. Just a couple more. In terms of like building you as a star, I mean, you're, you're a smart guy. You know how the, the industry works. You know how building a brand works. Like what, what kind of opponent do you think, even when, if you have one in mind or just can you describe them, what kind of opponent would be would be next in terms of building the Sean O'Malley Sugar Show brand? Just continue. I'm gonna fight someone coming off a win. I'm gonna fight someone that's that's a higher ranking. I guess in the rankings matter. I don't know. We got Cody Garbrandt's 0 and 3. Got knocked out three times. He's ranked number nine. Jose Aldo's ranked number six. He's 0 and 1. I don't know if the rankings are real or what. Not, so I don't know if necessarily matters coming off like a ranking system. Um, but we're gonna fight someone that's coming off a win. Someone that's I, I don't know. Someone that's coming off a win and they're healthy and and they can go here probably pretty soon. Yeah. Last thing I got for you: Are you at all disappointed that Henry Cejudo retired? Because I, I just think like I think I'm reason he retired. <laughs> I don't know that for sure, but that's just what I heard. Why? Why do you think that? I'm a bad bat. I feel like I'm a bad match for anyone in the division. I'm almost six feet tall, 
and I'm not super, I mean, I'm pretty skinny, but I, I'm long. Um, I was probably 150 something in the cage. I'm fast. I'm strong. Uh, I'm high level everywhere. Um, but I, I, I don't know if I'm disappointed he retired. I don't know if I could, if I'm on top in my peak, I, I don't know if I could retire. I almost feel like I'd rather lose than just retire. Say, I'm the best in the world. I'm just going to, I'm done. I don't know. Who knows? I think he'll be back. I think he found his first girlfriend and he was just kind of like doesn't know what to do because when you never had a girlfriend before and you have one when you're like 30 something you just I don't know they get they take over thanks Sean thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus